So Sadia, would you like to talk about some of those use cases and kind of drill down into the details for us? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Samir. So, um, so I have a couple of use cases that um, that I've uh, put together. Um, so, and I and hopefully this will be helpful for the audience, maybe to give some context in terms of what you could do based on what we've um, looked into. So, the first is search. Um, so, what Samir had shown a screenshot of was the patent classification system, which is a Dulcera tool, and there are other tools as well. Um, it's um, it's a tool that uses an unsupervised grouping method, and the benefit of the tool is that you can what we've used it for, and and there's other use cases I'm sure, um, but we've used it to to generate technology landscapes and basically define taxonomies related to an area of interest. And so that area can be um, directed by different business needs. Um, an example, like if I was at BlackBerry, we might be interested in a feature on a, on a phone, for example, and who else is filing in that area? So we would have to direct a query towards that feature. Um, and and then another example currently at Cisco would be conferencing. So Cisco has a tool called WebEx and it's, it's used it's it's grown quite a bit and there are other tools as well in the market that's relevant um, so an assessment might be what is the what is the scope of the industry's collaboration and conferencing space so that's an example of a general um, a general area and then what the tool will help you do is um, generate a taxonomy which is sort of a classification system based on keywords and they use an AI grouping method so there's a proposal and this is the way we use it but we get a proposed taxonomy which will then vet internally so Dilcera will produce the taxonomy send it back to us um, we either can review that in the IP group or we can engage um, sub subject matter experts just depending on where we want to drill down um, so for this example a couple of subtopics might be messaging so in a lot of tools you can have a messaging option it could be the conferencing system it could be devices or WebEx devices for example um, it could be certain algorithms that might be used and that might be something we'd want to protect or we'd want to know what is the industry um, trending in those areas typically we we work with three levels of sub nodes so there's um, an overall um, level one which is uh, probably like three to five different categories and then each one of those would be further subdivided into relevant level two and then a third level the third level is usually just for interest when we actually sort um, patents into two levels the first and second and that generally provides pretty good insights and then there's an iterative process we could refine the topic areas then we could um, once we see the results we might be satisfied we might want to look further just depends on the nature of what we're trying to achieve with that objective um, so that one is a pretty common one I'd say we use that a fair bit the second one I'd say is the classification analysis and I know Dulcera is a separate tool and just for background um, I know there's different ways people could engage with the tool the way I, I I have had the opportunity to access directly I actually don't run the tool myself so I will scope out the pro problem and then I work with the team and there's a project manager and they will further determine what the parameters are and then they'll run the results and send it back so I feel like that's been pretty effective um, but for the classification tool there's another it's a semi intelligent tool and then what we use that is to look at dashboards so we could track progress of um, any number of companies it could be Two, it could be us versus another. It could be two that we're considering some sort of um, agreement with that we want to see what's the status. Um, and to give you an example, um, so there's two two companies I worked at. So Cisco, we report pretty high level. So it's a networking company. We have verticals related to security and applications. Within um, security, for example, we could have firewalls. Within networking, we could have Wi-Fi. Like these are very large areas where, like Samir said, Cisco is very diverse patent portfolio. Um, another example at GE, they had very diverse areas, healthcare, um, power. So each one of those wouldn't really make sense to classify disparate technology areas it really makes sense to focus on a particular one because each one of those have different competitors and it's quite possible there's another large company that competes in multiple areas but the way we do it is we focus on one of those areas and then in order to group them again we need access to a tool that can help us um, do that efficiently so like John said you can't reasonably manually sort through thousands of assets 
Um, so what the tool does is it aggregates that data according to those categories that we've defined. And then um, practically how that looks is that there's a set of publication numbers that will generate keywords based on the content of the title abstract and claims. It'll group that information. And then there's some review in that, like we do tests, we do sample testing just to make sure that they're that the results are reasonable. And then what we do is we take the results and we aggregate that data and then we can see like for benchmarking like how two companies look relative to another. So we don't have to be exactly on point. We're not going in getting to the point of some of the ex other examples of litigation, but what this does is it helps with a snapshot in time, which is uh, informative. And then that's something that we can update periodically. Thank you. That That's super helpful, I think, Sadia, because from a practitioner standpoint, uh, it's always you, you see these tools in the market, we sell tools, but at the, at the end of the day, it's very hard to figure out how they are actually being used and sort of how the decision making works downstream. So this is a really good insight. Thank you for sharing.